minutes, it looked like we pulled the group a little tighter to have a final grouping result, I don't know, a little smaller now than the width of my fist. Now, as a reminder to you, you can see it as a reference, this is the size of the target that we're using. Here, let me go out to 25 yards so you get a reference for this. I think we're at like 18 yards, I can't go back any further, but think a fist size group at this distance, I'd say the accuracy is pretty ridiculous. Looking at the footage though, it seems like it's somewhat like halfway rooted in reality with me holding the grip. So let's just make it as unrealistic as possible and lock up the whole grip too. Hey, welcome back my favorite Balrog fighting, Hobbit tormenting magicians. Today, we're gonna be doing some accuracy testing because all of you asked for this. I'm not gonna lie, I think this test is a little silly and it only got dumber and dumber as we got into it, but whatever. But today we'll be testing the 2024 Bull Armory TAC accuracy from 25 yards. It's funny because people were only really talking about the accuracy of this pistol because they saw the QVO review where he had a damaged barrel and then had weird accuracy results. I'm not quite sure why he didn't just fix the barrel first. I did also notice in that video that he's using jacketed rounds and jacketed rounds are known to come apart when you use ports and comps and just jam everything up. I mean, even Blazer puts a disclaimer on this exact thing on their website about it. So, I don't know, maybe if you're doing accuracy testing, you don't use crap ammo, but whatever. I like the QVO guys a lot, and maybe they were up against a tight schedule or something like that. Ultimately, I don't understand it, so we'll just go test it ourselves. And I also did a full review of this bull tack, if you want to check that out, and I'll put a link to it down in the description and somewhere, somewhere up here. Interestingly, my TAC Pro doesn't have anything wrong with it, and I probably have about, I don't know, 1,000 to 1,500 rounds through it, so we should have some good and accurate results. Now, before we get into all the accuracy testing and all that ridiculousness, let's take a moment, thank today's sponsor. Today's video was sponsored in part by Javelin Concepts. Javelin rethinks gear innovation with the MCR Cummerbund to give you a next generation hook and loop connection system that still incorporates legacy bungee expansion giving the Ajax 2.0 a structural cummerbund that solves a lot of the problems of its competitors. The Ajax 2.0 is probably one of the most comfortable plate carriers on the planet too, so if you wanna check one out, make sure to use discount code TLDCO over at javelinconcepts.com. As always, big thanks to Javelin for supporting the channel. Now, let's get into this. Firstly, why are we testing the accuracy of a pistol when it's locked in a stand? Isn't this kind of goofy? It's unrealistic and it's not the results you're gonna get when you're actually holding it. I mean, it's data, sure, but it's not good data. It's kind of like knowing what it's like to shoot this thing on the moon. I mean, are people like carrying around a stand that they can set down so they can engage long range targets with a pistol? I'm trying to be nice here, but I'm not sure as to what combination of poor choices would cause you to train for this consistently and also <laughs> test it consistently. Whatever though, let's just test it and set everything up. I made sure to set up our rig and then line up our target at 25 yards. I checked it with the Maven RS1 just to make sure we we're at the right distance to show everyone we're not cheating. In an effort to add a small amount of realism to this, we're using regular off the shelf ammo with just S&B 115 grain. So it's not some sort of match special something or something else you can't buy. I just, just got it at the store. Oh, and it's not remanufactured or jacketed ammo. It's interesting, but that's super important too. Next, I did my best to set up the test similar to what QVO did and have the pistol resting in a stand. I will say immediately that this was a challenge. The stand I have just isn't designed for this, and the pistol has a ton of moving parts, meaning the shot has to be reset and realigned after every round is fired, making the test itself kinda, well, kinda stupid. I just wanna take a moment to note that it was incredibly difficult to set everything up in the stand, have it all lined up, and then hold everything in place. It would be very, very easy to throw this test off as the stand itself isn't doing much. I like the QVO guys a lot. I don't think they would do anything dishonest, but it would be very, very easy to throw this test off and you wouldn't really know it, making the whole 
tests I'm showing you here pretty disingenuous, but this is what you guys wanted, so let's see the results. From the first round, we can see we got about a fist-sized group or a little bit larger, which means from 25 yards, you're able to hit a hand-sized target, which I think is pretty amazing accuracy. I mean, that's what this test is, right? I mean, I, I don't get it. Is it like a weird, I'm gonna save the day and shoot the gun out of somebody's hand kind of, kind of test we're doing here? I don't know. Whatever, it seems like it passed to me, so I suppose we'll just do another one. This time I understood the assignment a little better and spent a lot more time making sure to line up and align each shot and have a nice, slow, controlled trigger pull. Looking at the results, it looked like we pulled the group a little tighter to have a final grouping result, I don't know, a little smaller now than the width of my fist. Now, as a reminder to you, if you can see it as a reference, this is the size of the target that we're using. Here, let me go out to 25 yards so you get a reference for this. I think we're at like 18 yards, I can't go back any further, but think a fist size group at this distance, I'd say the accuracy is pretty ridiculous. Looking at the footage though, it seems like it's somewhat like halfway rooted in reality with me holding the grip. So let's just make it as unrealistic as possible and lock up the whole grip too. So now we've locked things down in place and have the grip secured so we can have results that are completely outside the realm of reality. Taking shots, we still see the same issue where the stand and the entire platform can move, meaning I have to reset and realign for each shot. Making sure I'm realigned back on the exact same spot with a tiny reticle on the target at about 25 yards was very, very difficult. And I'll again comment on how easy it would be to game these results. I think I spent like 99% of my time just straining my eyes to try to make sure that little tiny dot is on the same exact spot on the target every single time. If I remember correctly, QVO even talks about how challenging this test is, and I certainly did my best, but there is absolutely a margin of human error in those accuracy testing results. Such a good test. All right, well, let's go see the results of this one. Again, same as before, and now we have three sets that are about the same fist size group at 25 yards, which should lay any accuracy issues to rest. If you find you need better results than this, then <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I just don't know what sort of Reddit superhero situation these people have made up in their mind where a fist size group at 25 yards isn't good enough. I mean, I'm already confused. If you find yourself in a situation with a bad guy at 25 yards, do these people just make sure to bust out their stand and spend 20 minutes putting it all together? No, because that's dumb. They're just gonna shoot their pistol like a normal person. So why isn't that the test? No test stands, no rigs or anything stupid. Let's test it like we would in reality, like with a regular person just, just shooting. I'm also not a great shooter, but I'm not terrible. So let's just say I'm, I don't know, average. So your results may be better than mine or they may be worse than mine. But at least whatever this test gives us is gonna be far more rooted in reality than this stupid <laughs> test stand. Here I lined up at 25 yards and we take our shots. I probably should have taken my time here to get more accurate results, but even at this speed, I'm hitting the target well. Okay, I say that and I definitely rushed and pulled that last shot. I will say shooting those five was about 200 times faster than the test stand though. I think slowing down a good bit would have tightened up that group and kept me from just winging that one off the top, but let's see what our realistic results are. Here we see those hits that are on paper, even without a test stand rig nonsense, are the same fist size group that we've seen all day. I think we're seeing here that the accuracy is not only good, but also consistent. Now, we did have that one flyer that went off the top of the target, but let me go grab it so you can see it as a reference. I think here were like the main hits, and then there's one that was off the top up here. So even at 25 yards, you're, you're still going to be accurately hitting your target. And after doing like four sets of these, all getting like fist size group with budget off the shelf ammo, I'd say the accuracy of the tack is perfectly fine, if not fantastic. Thankfully, now I can just get back to absolutely ripping through targets again. God, I just love this thing. Oh, you need more? Yeah, me too.
But seriously, the entire TAC Pro is just fantastic. And from seeing my accuracy testing to just seeing me shooting it, I think you can see what this platform can do. So stay tuned as I try to sneak peek the all new Bull 2024 EDC. We got to see the EDC at GunCon and it was just absolutely nuts, but I hope to never ever do this test again. It seemed like a whole lot of work just to get some super unrealistic results. And those results that if I was a bit more unscrupulous could game pretty easily. So I'm gonna warn all of you viewers not to put too much weight into this test when you see it. Plus it's just kind of silly as hell. But I hope this video testing the accuracy of the Bull Armory 2024 TAC Pro was useful in your purchasing decisions and your whatever weird decisions you may have going on in your mind. And I wanna say thanks to all of our YouTube and Patreon members. You make it cool we can test products like this and you guys support the channel when we have other social media that really doesn't want you to see kind of things like this. And I also wanna say thanks to everyone that likes, comments, and subscribes. Comment down below what you think about this accuracy, if it's pivotal you and your, your superhero adventures. I, I wanna hear all about it. All right, everyone, we'll shout. Literally a plane is literally, literally making circles above me. It's a huge plane too. Can you hear it? I bet you're gonna hear it. Cause that's kind of loud. Whee! I just keep thinking about like some guy. It's just like walking around with a whole table. Like oh, he's got a whole table on it, right? And he's just carrying it around just in case there's a bad guy. Like if you have the bad guy super close, like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm too close, I'm too close. I gotta, hold on, I gotta set this up. And he like sets it down, rigs up his gun. Like, hold on, I know what this gun can do at this distance. Let me just, let me just lock her on in there. Don't move. Oh, save the day. Just gotta bring old trusty back home with me. It doesn't make any sense. This test is very weird. Accuracy's good. Test accuracy, for your, test accuracy for yourself, right? Take the pistol, see what you can do, seeing what somebody else can do at distance with a different pistol than your own is not gonna help you at all. Take your own pistol, go to distance, see what you can do so that you can know if you can or cannot make longer range shots, then you know. Watching somebody else's results, it's like watching someone else play baseball. Like, doesn't make you good at baseball. Oh, it's funny. Uh, yeah, what's next? Ooh, backpacks, yeah. Okay, finally get on to backpacks. You guys voted to have the top three plate carrier packs. So I got some really good ones. So stay tuned for that next week. All right, everybody, you're great. I already said, I already said bye, so, so go away. You can't just hang out all day.